So this version is looking a lot better, guys. Um, good work. The I see a lot of things that have been fixed. The the numbers on the new character creation have been fixed, which is great. Um, that looks like it's all working great. So good job on that. And um, I haven't I haven't played around with it too much. I did find a, a quick bug. It looks like you guys are still. Looks like the galactic chart is. The basic functionality looks kind of like it's there, uh, which, which is good. Well, I guess I should. <clears throat> um, so, let's see. Oops. Okay. So maybe the search feature is not working yet, but uh, <clears throat> the systems are all in there. Looks like. And distances, it understands distances, so it's getting there. Just need to, you know, indicate where we are in relative to where we're selecting, and you know, put some put some graphics in there. But it looks like it's getting there in the search function. Um, other stuff I haven't actually. I'm gonna <clears throat> focus on <clears throat> just the sequence that that uh, I show in the other videos, but the short range chart, this is a, a 2.1, Android 2.1 AVD, and uh, this is looking good. Uh, it's looking a lot better. I can select the system, and that takes me to the price, uh, the warp screen with the prices, which is good. Absolute prices looks like look like they might be wrong because they're zeros but uh, or I'm sorry the price differences is what, what that would be um, price differences aren't working but it's coming along uh, and are we able to buy cargo looks like that's good and um, warping through um, this is looking good. I think there's a should be a, some sort of little progress bar up here, but it's not a big deal. Uh, you guys probably know that. So this is looking a lot better. Um, stops displaying. Just little, I mean, we'll, there are a couple little bugs, but we'll go through and start listing them. But but the main functions look like they're working. Um, one quick thing, this is going to ship information after you get out of the warp sequence. It shouldn't be going to ship information. and uh, It should be going to... Actually, okay, so, so let's see. Where are we here? It should be going to system information, to this screen here. So after, after you complete a warp, you should be taken to the system information screen, not the ship information screen. So that's that's one thing. Um, looks like fuel's working. Um, <clears throat> one thing I noticed, and I did log a bug on on um, Google Code. I put an issue in there for this, but <clears throat> basically, there's no way to. <coughs> if you get to a place where you you haven't refueled, so you don't have this big range circle. And you can't click on any of these. Basically, we need a close button here, here, because systems that are out of range are not selectable, which is, which is different than the iPhone. But it's actually fine. It's not a big deal. The problem is, if your if your range circle is small and you're not able to cl click on any system, um, I've seen that before. The deposit cash thing. I'm not sure why that's coming up. Anyway, if you you can get stuck in the short range chart, so we just need to put a close button there, just just in case uh, they can't select on a, select a system. And we're gonna go to sell cargo. <clears throat> so it's looking good, guys. It's really come along come a long way. Um, I think we're pretty close to being able to go to a beta. <clears throat> 
So great job. Um, I haven't had a chance. I've only been playing it for a few minutes, so I'll I'll continue to play it, and uh, and we'll get some more information on it. I did log the one bug, which is mainly just to put a close button up there, but so far it's looking great. Thanks, guys.